I think, uh, and for what the feedback I have, we agree that to have less pressure within each other, it's a good thing, right? Uh, so we can feel each other more, uh, more than usual. <laughs> so let's talk about all the technical exercises that do help that uh, release of unnecessary tension between partners. So how do we build up tension? In men in general, uh, the tendency is by believing that you have to move her. And that's how guys get like kind of this arm thing, you know? Uh, where to put her. Unfortunately, the more you do that, the more she will resist you. Yeah? This is not only human beings' behavior, but it's animals' behavior. If you grab a dog and you push it, like this, eventually the dog will start to push you back. So any human being, you start to do this, she'll take the first one, the second one, the third one, but eventually it will get heavier to push her around. It's an instinctive reaction. That's why the more you do this, and you start to think why she doesn't fucking want to move. That's why. See, you are incentivating the instinctive of resistance to movement, the more you do this. And on the female's part, where do you build up tension? Right? Whatever you are doing, you lose balance and you grab your partner by the neck. Wow! <laughs> You get it? So your hands get this type of, uh, type of thing. And that's where you build up your tension. So now we're going to do a lot of exercises for, for uh, women and also for us. <clears throat> How can you get rid of the grab to your partner? I would say the, the, the bad grab to your partner because there's a good one, huh? But the bad one is because you need to be able to navigate by yourself without the help of anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Remember back in the 60s, the independence uh, feminist movement? That's it, it's fucking real. So you have to move yourself. <laughs> you <know? laughs> Those are today's news, I'm sorry. Yeah, so what do that means? I'll show with you, the one that laughed the more, come here. <laughs> so, you do back crosses, right? And you do it by yourself. Put your hand like this, no touching, and keep no going. Touching. Yeah. Okay. No, touching is more expensive, so <laughs> there you go. Bigger steps. Get my money now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get your money's worth. There you go. That's it. I don't know why, but women love this exercise. <laughs> Bigger steps. See how her hands shake with respect to mine? So if we were grabbing, that would be the tension. See this? This is yes and this is no. Yeah? <laughs> See? All right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So that's it. Why do, why this sex, yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. But the balance would depend on you. And guess what happens when there's another you? <laughs> the sustain changes so they freak out you get it so all these things that don't feel good while you're dancing you know all these battles that's where it is you get it so 
And guess what happens, for example, when she has to dance with a beginner that doesn't know anything? See, her dance level drops like 80 points because she doesn't have the same support. And le let me give you the last metaphor with respect to the famous guy's help. <clears throat> when you go to the gym, you know, right, you pay your thing, you go, you grab the weights. Do the teacher comes to you and say, no, wait, wait, let me help you. And he goes together with you? No, right? That's not help. He will be fucking you up, right? Same thing, man. Same thing. So walks, turns, and all these games, you have to be able to do it by yourself and to have controls of your contacts. In this case, we're just practicing your hands. Why this exercise she's doing it with me and not by herself, for example? Why? This is a, a women's technique exercise. I'm, I'm asking you why, because all these exercises, a lot of people, for example, a lot of women practice it with a wall, grabbing a wall and doing these things. And of course, then they have to travel with the wall everywhere they go. <laughs> yeah. If they're on their own, they, they know. When I'm on my own, I've definitely got to do everything by myself. But if there's a guy there and they're used to relying on that guy for balance and stuff, then that'll come out. There you go. So we are teasing them. That's our best job, man. We do, oh, oh. So the hands, you know, they, uh, they want to grab. But while the exercise, they auto-correct themselves until it's like warm. And if we keep changing, instead of grabbing, they will learn to give pleasure instead. Oh, you get it? But that's the, uh, that's the other level. That's the, all the secrets in the other class. No, not this one. So, <laughs> see what I mean? So we are just uh, teasing. You know, that type of reaction. Yeah, yeah, we fall. At the beginning, you will try to do this. You'll find yourself doing that, and you will relax. You get it? <clears throat> and that's it. So, this time, pick a very good partner. Yes? And go. All right, so, so how is it going? Good, one great, eh? very good. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. One question. One. Yes. What? It's actually impossible to keep your hands. Oh, yes, it is. Still, and your body moving, and your hands. Will you not say what mishka? All right, you want to bet money? Huh? You say it was impossible, right? You want to bet money? How much you have on you? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter if it's impossible, it's a great practice anyway. Yeah, it's not not to move your hands, but it's no matter what you do, you are able to have a fixed point so you don't bug your partner uh, with, with, your, with what you are doing. It's independent what you are doing to the, content, to the contact of your partner. Actually, it's more important your contact to your partner than the thing you're doing with your legs. Because that's where the fun is. It's not in your legs. Yeah. The motor, huh? I, I call it us. But if you, <laughs> you call it motor. <laughs> 
Că trebuie să iau energia din altă parte, din corpul meu. Yeah, where is the impulse coming from? Where is the impulse? Where is it? Uh huh. Well, the thing goes like this. In this technique, first you do it, first you experiment, and then if you're good, I'll tell you what's going on. So yeah, yeah, I was doing it and it was difficult. Yeah. Welcome to planet Earth. Yes, my child. That's it. It's not difficult. I mean, if you really study from no tango to this, it's really kind of common. The, the thing it makes it a little extra because you have been practicing exactly the opposite. You know? And you guys, you like energy stuff? Well, you've been stealing energy from your partner to move yourself. What? What you should do is stop thinking about it and do it. <laughs> yeah, and stop to try to describe what's going on and do it. Because your body is smarter than you are. And I was also correcting something and, and we were laughing about it and I was making fun. Like <clears throat> uh, but I'll show you the, the, the technique. Uh, that, that I'm talking about, and I'll show you with you. So for us, this is the technique, and do it. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger steps. Bigger steps. Look your hands. Go. And don't quit like that. Go. Bigger steps. Faster. Bigger steps. Bigger. Go. 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 No cheating like that. Go. The other foot cannot touch. There you go. Go. Bigger. I can't. Go. Go. There you go. Bigger steps. That's it. That's it. Bigger steps. Hands. There you go. That's it. That's the fight. That's it? That's it. Remember the gym? Yeah. Yeah, it is difficult. <laughs> That's it. Okay, thank you. If you want it, you can have it. You have to do it. You think it's difficult? Yeah. It, you know, it requires something that we call effort. <laughs> it's called dancing. You have to move your own ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I keep going like this or? <laughs> yeah? Any questions about it? Yes. Yeah. What is that? Why don't I, I should I dance tango? You can dance alone. I don't need any partner. If I stop energy, if I do Baby, you can do whatever you want. I, 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 I personally don't care what you do. We are, we are doing just some exercise. I'm explaining a point. If you get it, fine. If you don't get it, just do the exercise. Yeah. Why we dance two? Why? For a million different reasons, and it's personal to each one of us. You might dance because. You like, some people dance alone. I have friends that dance uh, by themselves, hip hop and tango. I have friends that dance with partners. There are people that dance because they like their partner. There are people that dance because they're working. So that you have to decide for yourself. Why do you dance with a partner? Yeah, do that answer your question? Yeah. So. Um, <clears throat> I know that for some of you it's some news that dancing is about moving yourself you know <clears throat> and you've been relying on all these mechanisms of using your partner to move yourself 
that technique comes from 100 years ago when this dance was danced with prostitutes and pimps. So a pimp would grab a prostitute and that was called the dance. You get it? Some of us, we have evolved. <laughs> and we have other relationships with women today. You get it? So I expect the women that are dancing with me to be active, to have fun, yeah? And to be contributing to what's going on. That's why for us, on the other side, that's why we are like puppets like this. You get it? Because one of the things that guide we do build up is this weird fucking belief that is your responsibility that she moves. And when she makes a mistake, <clears throat> you tense up and you don't like it. And when she makes another mistake, <clears throat> you know. And little by little, you cook up into this psychology and you end up driving her like furniture, like this. Because you want her to move like you want, you want to move. So that's why we do this exercise too. That's it, man. Do it. Go. <laughs> you get it? So it sounds uh, kind of fun, but it's a really well fucking designed exercise to release our pressure, you know, that you are responsible of what she's doing because you are not responsible of what she does. And for them, to take responsibility of have their own fun. All of this is when you are responsible of your own fun, <coughs> and this probably has a, a more a lot to do with what she was asking about why we dance together. It's more interesting to ask not why we dance together, but why you can dance with some people very well and we are the one you really fuck up. You get it? So with the good with the ones you like, they happen to push you in the way you like. And the ones you don't like, they push in a different way. So two ways to go about that. This is what I found so far. One, you blame your partner. He's not a good leader. Yeah. Yeah, he's not leading me well. I cannot dance. You know, give me more resistance. Push me this certain way, etc., etc., etc. The other way, no problem, babe. Whoa. And you move yourself. <laughs> That's it. That's it. This is what we have found so far. So, to add up, this exercise, once you have it a little bit, um, why I was saying to you bigger steps. Right? Because she asked about the engine and all these things. Well, if I'm going to take a step, and see, and she knows she's going to have to come back, right? If she takes a short step, he can start to think about this technique, that put your legs together, you have to pretend that you're an axis, you have to rotate and all this junk, right? But if she takes a big step, believe me, by God, she's going to pull her legs together or she's going to be on the floor. See my body. So this huge thing, it forces you to do that. Did you see this? So that's why you have to say bigger steps. That will fix all this bullshit technique jargon just like that. Yeah? So, uh, and the last one, this always has to be challenging for you. It's like the gym. You lift up one kilo, here comes the second one. I say, fuck, man, all over again. <laughs> you have two, the motherfucker, three. You have three, four, and five, and that's it. You get it? 
So, how do we add up kilograms? Yeah. <laughs> so, do, do your thing. Your back crosses. There you go. Keep like that. No cheating. Then I have to. Ah, go. Big steps. Yeah, encourage them. Go. Faster, bigger, better. <laughs> there you go. So, once they are kind of cruising, that's good. That's good. Yeah, this is what you do. Follow yeah. me. There you go. 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 Seriously. Yeah. There you go. There you go. See this? That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's hard, huh? Yeah. That's it. Well, that's the metaphor of what happens when you dance with different partners. You're going to dance with a tall one. You're going to dance with a short one. You're going to dance with a pushy one, etc., etc. So, our contacts are multiple. They have nothing to do with a fixed contact posture. See? So, take it as far as you can. From now on, you have to pick your own level. If, the, if your partner is having too much trouble, cool off, relax. If she starts to brag about it, Ay, how easy this is, well, you know, whoa, start your games like this. Yeah. <laughs> you get it? So we can keep building up. So pick another partner and go. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, very good. Any questions about it? <coughs> no? ha, did you notice that it improves over time? Yeah? yeah? All right. So as you can see, you, you improve by experience. You know, not so much explanations of what you should be doing or not should be doing, et cetera, et cetera. And that is a cool thing. So if there's no questions, I can give another of this type of exercise. Um, <clears throat> and actually, actually, I want to add up a little um, extra thing to this exercise, which is, <clears throat> can I show with you? So uh, do the back crosses for me. There you go. So we have the back crosses. Yeah, you keep doing the back crosses. And now we are grabbing hands, but as you can see, we are not pushing and pulling. Okay? So these back crosses can travel to my front like this, this way. Yeah? Or they can travel back. This is harder. Oh, yeah, baby, and it's going to get so hard. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Yeah. No pushing. There you go. Come to me. <laughs> <laughs> good. That's a good fight. I like So it can come this other way. Here, you are going to be nice only for this one, and you're going to help her a little bit, but just a little bit. Thank you. What I just want you to notice is that now she's like a Ferrari, you know, and I'm doing nothing. <laughs> you get it? And that's the point. Because when she's so active, then you imprint a little bit, and man, we are flying. Because she's turned on already, and that's the game of it. it? <laughs> and I didn't invent it, you know, it just, it just come on. Yeah, it's... A, <laughs> So, let's do it. Change partners, back crosses. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. Okay, so 
Now that you are in the great mood of this, like, wow, this is so hard, well, guess what's coming next? <laughs> so this is what we are going to do. Uh, this one is not for everybody, okay? So you have to pick your own level. How do the different levels go? Well, first, no hands, no touching until she, she can survive. When, when she can survive, you start to scream bigger steps. Right? <coughs> then you start this thing of moving back and forth. Right? So you over-rotate even a little more. And then it comes this one that everybody loves. And we are going to do it three people. So can you put your hands in front of her and, and you do it for her? Yeah, with you. Yeah, and you do your back crosses. Just the exercise. Yeah. So now, yeah, and you don't move. There you go. You just stay. Yeah. It's her work, not yours. There you go. So from here, what you do is that you stop her. There you go. Yeah, go. <laughs> and go. Yeah. See what I'm doing? I'm being mean. Yeah. There you go. And go. The less you stop, the better. There you go. See what I'm doing? No? no. <laughs> she's rotating. Hold on. Hold on. She, see? She's rotating like this while I'm pushing against her hips. Uh -huh. And go. There you go. Go. Oh, see? See how she's starting to push more with her ass? <laughs> That's the famous engine that we, that we all love. But now she's experiencing the thing. It's not just a bullshit game that we're asking for it. Very different than saying, yes, now you have to push with your hips and you never push. So now we are saying, if you don't push, you're going nowhere. And they'll do wow. So it's much more powerful a any experience than just the technique. This one is not for everybody. And also one thing, you have to let her survive. <laughs> See, we take her to her limit. That's it. You know, it's not about really stopping her or, or not. Survive. If she cannot do it, well, relax a bit. Start to add up pressure and feel what's up. Yeah? Okay. It's not for everybody. Some of you will have to do the other. Uh, this is, you know, if you can take it. Yeah? Get three people and do it. Okay, I'll show you one more time to everyone. I mean, where's the push? Uh, and now we can talk about a little bit about the technical problem. Have you noticed that they take a step, then they stop, and then they get to rotate? Well, bad news, you know? If you stop, there's already no motion. It's very difficult. So why do we stop them? So they start to understand if they, if they don't take that impulse, they are going nowhere. You get it? So where are you stopping? In the most fragile movement, moment of their exit, right, right there, you know? <laughs> so they start to freak out, like right there when they're going to do it. And uh, yeah, you know? And that's the yanking that we want. You don't have to do it with your, you can uh, grab her hips, like, l let's do it, for example. Uh, no, you do it there with her, for example. Yeah, do your back crosses. Grab her by the hips like this. There you go. There you go. Your, watch your hands. Bigger steps. I'm being very mean, eh? Bigger steps. Yeah, you love it. I know you do. See? That's it. Keep doing it, and I'll let you go. Same thing as if I'm grabbing you. There you go. That's the engine. Feel it? That's it. That's it. Let's do it. All right, so
All right, all right, finally you're working out, huh? <laughs> so how do you like your women's technique exercises? Good, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is with the exercise. Actually, I've trained some of the best fall tango follower, tango women on the market, huh? If you do this in a month, I mean, you'll be flying, you know? This is how easy this is. Of course, with the right training. If instead of that, if instead of what you're doing right now, you go to the wall, you start to use your partner, you'll be wondering why you are following your balance your whole life. That's it. If you do this type of exercise, even if you have a moron doing this to you, you will do the fucking thing no matter what. You get it? Even if your partner does those balances, you won't. You get it? That's how strong it gets. So, for example, here, who has problem doing uh, turns? Uh -huh. Turns. So, what are the problems? For example, you. Inertia. I cannot control the inertia. The inertia. Okay. Anybody else? Balance. Balance. You take a distance. You don't keep the circle. And what? Yeah. All right. All right. So how have you been trying to fix that? Okay, you try to turn more. Focus on my... Eh? What I asked uh, this morning, focus on the pivot, you know. Okay. All right. Focus on the pivot, yeah. That's fine. Relax, okay. You will? Okay, yeah, that's, that's one way. Okay, I'll tell you <clears throat> how it goes like this. Every activity has what we call like a power position that lets you do that task easily. That, uh, again, that engine that w w when you were looking for about that engine, you have to experience it to be able to use it. If you don't experience it, as a teacher, you can be repeating to your students forever fucking ever. Yeah, put your feet together. Yeah, now we rot. Or like you now, you know, imagine that there is an axis. You know, and then you wrote that fucking well. You can be for years repeating that junk. But if you just do what we did, they fucking get it, even if you don't want to. <laughs> See? So the next exercise is to put you in what it is, the power position to turn around someone. Yeah? Which it is. So, <clears throat> and in the middle... Right? And you're going to turn like this. Okay? This is my hand. So, grab my hand like here and push it. Yeah, it's heavy, huh? Yes. <laughs> Don't bend your arm. Put it straight and push it. There you are. Huh? No, don't be mean to me. <laughs> push it harder. Yeah, get your head into it. There you go. Keep the position, keep the position. Push my hand. That's it. Do you see this? See or no? No? No. Do, do you see the speed that she's moving around me? Yeah. Yeah. 
There you go. And even before she was pushing me. Remember what you were practicing before? The guy had to drag you and you still going out with your back cross. You still had problems with your pivot. Did, did you have any problem with any pivot? You get it? So another guinea pig, you. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, push my hand. Don't let your arm, uh, keep your arm straight like this. Don't okay. let it bend and push it. Yeah. She's having a hard time, right? Okay. Yeah, push it harder. Harder. There you go. Keep the position. Keep the position. There you go. See the speed? Yes. <laughs> See? Yeah. Because you are charging where you're going, so that's why you can flip, you can do your back crosses, you have your axis, you have your balance, and you can move around. You get it? The power position means that to speed up, you have to charge in the direction you're going. It's the opposite of what you have been practicing, which is, yeah, I have to build my axis. Ooh. And then, yeah, you are on your axis, but you are going nowhere. You get it? And then you go to the other axis. And then to get out of here, it's a fucking problem. Because you are straight like a beam, you know? See, see the point? So, when you want to move fast in, on planet Earth, the Olympics, you put your head, you know, to go. So speed has nothing to do with your legs. It has to do with your, how you charge your weight. You can do it like this, or you can pretend that you are straight, but man, you have to fucking go. If not, your legs will, will never respond to you. How do you learn this? By that. You push them. You are going to see that they are going to start to tilt, because if not, they cannot move. So they start this thing. Once they get it, you loosen it up a little bit, and you tell them, keep the position, keep the position, and the thing just speeds up. Any questions? Mm, let's do it. Go. So for the ladies, is it difficult? Yeah. Was good, yeah. awesome. After a while, no. Super. Uh, was it difficult for some of you? Maybe. My left hand because he was pressing his right hand. Okay. Just, just one thing that I wanted to show you is that when you really hit the power position, it's very easy, and it requires very little effort, believe it or not. Uh, let me show you who's a strong guy. You're you strong guy. <laughs> and extend your arm like like that, right? And use really, really fucking stop me, okay? But for real, eh? See this? Thank you. See this? No one can stop. 70 kilograms in motion charging with a hand like this. You get it? This is, I'm just telling you that when you were putting this effort kind of, yeah, yeah, it is difficult, it's because you haven't hit yet the sweet spot where you really charge with your whole weight where you're going. You get it? So, do it one more time until you say, like, wow, you know, we're cruising, there's no problem. Yeah. At some point, there is no more pressure. In, uh, because we, we tried uh, to speed it up a little bit. Yeah. And at some point, when the, the speed is uh, higher, there is no more pressure in, uh, in the yeah. 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 To, to the head. yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. Yeah, the point is how to get. 
um, how do I explain this to you? Most of what we have, what you have practiced, it has been based on a, on one or two obsessions. One is an axis perpendicular to the ground like this, and this is fine if we are moving at this speed. You know all these walks that people practice. Nobody tells you that the leg first and then the thing. It only works at this speed. Once you start to rush up, these people start to look like this, you know. You get it? So once there's a shift in speed, it's the opposite. First is the weight, and the legs go later on, like this. Wow. First the weight, and then the legs later. Wow. Wing, wow. See this? It's not this. You get it? So what we are practicing now is to use all the axes available you have to you. One is perpendicular for very slow, and the other one, you, when you need power, wow, you push in the direction you go. In any tango style, eh? <clears throat> Personally, I don't give a damn about tango style, so I put my head, I do whatever I feel like it. But let's say you want to pretend to be this, you know, this uh, stylish gentleman from the 1930s, and you want to be straight, that's no problem. You can still fall and be straight. Warm, like this, see? Warm. And this flows. The other one is like, you know, eh, eh, eh. It's okay, but you won't be able to go very fast, eh? <clears throat> so, find a sweet spot until, you know, they cannot stop you anymore, and for you, it's almost no effort, okay? Change partners one last time. <clears throat> Go. Yeah, all right, all right. So, all right. Yeah, so anyone have noticed some difference of what you were doing before and what you're doing now? A lot, huh? Everything Every fucking thing is different, isn't it? Surprising, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The body, uh, our body organizes itself everything as soon as you tell tell it a real direction where you want to go that's it so when you tell them you want the direction it organizes the whole thing itself and it produces it for you understand the other way you've been doing is kind of talking to yourself as if you don't know how to move like if you were a robot, and you have to tell the robot, first is the axis, then is the leg, and then is your hips, 23 degrees left, or north, south, and then you put it in, and then you move it out. You get it? So, it is possible to move this way? Yeah, it is, but it looks weird, you know? So... <clears throat> Yes. I practiced this way like for three years. Uh-huh. Can you tell me anything that it could uh, get me out of the path? <laughs> out of that type of practice? Yeah, because I, I was uh, while doing this uh, paper class, I was thinking, oh, you have to be straight, this leg is uh, straight, and then... That's why I'm desperate, I'm like sure. Like uh, how did you do, how did you it did it go for you the exercise? How did you do with the exercise? Um, quite as confusing because you can do it in a thousand times, a uh, thousand uh, ways. Uh huh. Like, I don't know which one is. The right for example, one. were you able to turn easier? 
than what you are used to do? No. No? What's the same? Yeah. One of the reasons that it could be that I didn't mention is, by the way, tango is dancing high heels, huh? For women. What is that? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. What is that? No, no, not necessarily. I'm just telling you because uh, high heels for tango, you know, it's like an instrument. You have to learn to walk on high heels. Have you noticed that it's different to dance with high heels and without it? Do, do you notice that or not? Maybe a little. So why don't you use them? It's just maybe a little. Because it's more than a little. <laughs> it bugs you or you don't like them so much or something is going on. Exactly. That's why without heel it doesn't work the dance. Because we don't want different highs. You don't need different highs. And that's why high heels fix that up. You get it? That's the most technical view, eh? Then we can talk about hours and hours about why you wear those high heels. And it's about uncovering your femininity. But that subject, we're going to keep it maybe uh, for, for another term. Technically speaking, dance has nothing to do uh, without high heels or without it. So my recommendation to, to everyone is if you want to learn tango, it's with high heels. You can do whatever. Take your pick. But that's my recommendation to everyone. Uh, <clears throat> Being that said, uh, to progress, even if you felt just a little different of what we're doing now and what we used to do, the point is that you feel a difference, uh, you know, uh, so you can start to measure your own progress. So <clears throat> I can show with you, if you, uh, if you want, uh, so <clears throat> let's do the exercise. And you push my hand. Yeah, you keep that position and you turn. Yeah, push my hand. <laughs> there you go. There you go. See how fast you're turning? Yes or yes. no? Yes. Yeah? Feel it? Mm -hmm. It's fast, right? So relax. You don't have to push no, anymore. The other way. Can we do the other way? Ah, you get oh, yeah. dizzy, yeah? Yeah. All right. Push my hand. Push my hand, don't grab me like this. Push it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's very hard work. Anyhow, do you notice how that you can go faster than you are used to? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Oh. It's uh, some kind of, um, what do you say, no. Yeah. Yeah, some kind. Yeah. For you, it's some kind, and it's a little. The, the difference, the more you do it, it's going to be huge. Because what this does is that you will be able to move very, very fast, very relaxed. You don't need to use what you have practiced before, which is pushing with your legs like this. You know? That is all muscle effort. A muscle effort decreases sensitivity. We talk about the grab, right? Okay. If I have a cigarette, right, and I cannot move my arm and I'm going to burn my arm, the first instinct someone will do is to tense up muscles. Why? When we tense up, the skin feels less. You, know, you lose sensitivity. So when you are turning around someone doing all this effort with your posture and with your legs, Basically, you lose balance be because you're not feeling anything. <laughs> you know? You're so tensed up that 
you get very unaware of your surroundings. So, instead of that, when you get into this position, the position itself gives you the power. You can relax your muscles. You can move very fast. And some of you, I know you've noticed that you get a certain type of a rush in your skin. Mm. Some of you know, right? You still tense up. But do you notice how, for example, little kids get, get excited out of their fucking mind? By fucking running, open up, ah, in running very fucking fast. With articulations open, so your fucking skin gets on fire. Ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, you get this, uh, this energy passes through. Yeah, so that's what we want. You get it? To be turning around somebody so efficiently that we can sleep, we can smoke a cigar, drink it, <laughs> and we are fucking flying. And there you get your skin turned on. Yeah, that's why we're practicing these exercises. Yeah, very technical, eh? <laughs> anyway, we have how many minutes more? 20 minutes more. Um, should we do some other stuff? Um, 20 more minutes. Any, any other questions or comments? Yeah. Everybody's improving? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want to know how we can intermingle as leaders with women. We are only talking about uh, women to meet today. E well, the news is you have to do all this shit too, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know that I didn't express it because I'm so used to, in my understanding, there's no women or men or anything. Man. You have to do the whole fucking thing. Sometimes I don't express it that way because I assume everybody does, so that's probably my mistake. Huh? But all these exercises, you have to do it too, guys. Yeah. That's where the power is. Yeah. All right. I wanted to know if there's anything more you can tell us about the moment when we start to advance to intermingle the gancho thing. Is there anything in particular that that's done to do because we can hit each other hard? How can we position ourselves yeah. when we as men want to do gancho to the women or the women has to do gancho to the men? Is there anything in particular that yeah. Yeah, I know that. That's a lot. Yeah, great, great, great question. So you want ganchos. Anybody else want something else? Huh? Baxacadas. Your baxacadas or her baxacadas? Ba your baxacadas. All right. Anybody else? Boleos. <laughs> Uh, it just occurred to me something I cannot say, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm on video, I cannot answer you. But <laughs> what you can do alone in your house is grab your agenda, pick anyone, hey man, come here, we're going to practice fucking tango, you have five, five minutes to show up. That's it. <laughs> That's what you can do. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good incentive, huh? That's a good incentive. I think I will go. I will go. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, that's the type of call I want to receive. So, ganchos, baxacadas, boleos. Any, Uh -huh. Yeah, how to be women more active? Yeah, I got that one. One thing that um, I find really hard and it, it causes me to be constantly looking down at the girl's feet. Yeah. Um, if the girl's really tall, she's got big breasts. That's really bad. <laughs> but, um, who t who I, told you it's bad, man? Yeah, I find it hard to, um, to, to, to feel what, what foot she's on. 
That's why yeah, I find myself having to, to look down and, and, sh and check. Oh, All right, on this foot. Yeah. Hard. If I don't look at the feet, I, I'm like trying to work it out in my head. Right. So we just did that step. So that probably, yeah. I find that hard. Well, there are two schools for that. There's a school that you look down and there's someone and tell you, no, no, don't look down, look up. <coughs> so then you look up, but because you don't know what the fuck is going on, you stand up because it's kind of weird, you know? You are afraid to bump into her. See? Do, do you understand what I mean? Yeah. This is like driving a car. Right? You require skill, a real skill. If you don't know how to drive a car, see, you cannot pretend you do. Because when that shit starts, man, you're going to freak out, right? <laughs> so, your instincts want, your healthy instincts wants to look because you don't want to step into her. You don't, wanna, you don't want her to step into you. You are looking where the heck are your feet? Where the heck are their feet? So that's fine, man. That's fine. Natu the natural, pro I'll tell you, the best dancers of this fucking field, nobody says these things. But we all started dancing like this, man. For the first 10 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it is a serious problem if I'm dancing a girl and she's a bit taller than me. That's no, that's no how I take it. Huh? I wouldn't consider that a problem at all. Man. I would, yeah, I would say my teacher recommend me to watch. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, don't fight with nature like that. That's helpful though, because I was, I thought looking down, okay, bad. I wouldn't, I'd be like trying to guess, like, oh, what? Right. Yes, that's good, so it's just, okay, just go with it. Go with it, man. Especially, for example, we're going to, do, I don't know if today or tomorrow, but we're going to do Baxacas, we're going to do Ganchos, and I'm expecting you to fucking look. You know what I mean? The, the, the evolution goes, you look, you look, you look, then it happens what happens to me, then you get fucking bored of looking, and you know already where her legs are, and you just do it. But you do it like a king, because you know for sure what's going on. You know how to drive the car, so that's when you light up your cigarette, your whiskey, nothing, and you just fucking go and drive, and you look up, you look at the roof, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? What? No, well, this thing of looking up, we are talking about in our context. Free people. Do you understand what I mean? If you were going to work on stage, you are fucked. You have to look up. If not, you don't get paid. If you suffer, if you don't suffer, if you know where you're feeling, nobody gives a fuck. You have to pretend a character. So I, I think that is from where these confusions come from. Uh, some teachers don't have very clear what is stage, what is competition, and what is social dancing. And some exercises get mixed, all mixed up. You know what I mean? So uh, anyway, what I would like to do from all the things we have, we're going to do back sacadas and ganchos and bolios tomorrow. Let's, yeah. And let's wrap it up with more concepts about what, for women, what is really being more active? <clears throat> being more active is that literally you're responsible of your own fun. That's it. And if you have a problem, it's not your partners, it's you. You get it? This is... <laughs> well, this is an abstraction. It's an abstract. It's a concept. It's where we stand to charge into life, into the situation. It's not real. You get it? Because you, you, you are going to go there and you're going to get a... a, a somebody not nice and a motherfucker, you get it? It's not always your fault, you know what I mean? But for us, 
as training as, as a dancer, we want to keep ourselves busy with your, with your own stuff and don't get cut off in criticizing what's wrong with the other one. So to keep our own minds involved in what we are doing, <clears throat> I'll show you, for example, and so everybody, we all can see, what does it mean for you to be active with different types of dancers? With someone very relaxed, with someone very tense, with someone that might look at your breast, with, you know, with all these different people. <laughs> you know? So let me show you what we mean. For example, now we're walking, like at the beginning, free, relaxed, you're going there, and when we come back, you're going through me. Relax. Ah, so re there you go. So what you guys follow are directions. There is no muscle tension. So this, this same direction, keep relaxed. But keep relaxed, eh? Keep relaxed. There you go. See this? Now I'm fighting. <laughs> she likes it, eh? Now I'm fighting like an idiot, and she's not. See? I, I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner. Don't fight me. Do it. Do it. Don't fight my hands. There you go. There you go. See that? You like it, huh? <laughs> yeah? Fun. You feel it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Same thing with everything. Same thing with the turn. See? It's like not reacting. Just keep, keep being relaxed. Because the moment you were dancing, I wanted to dance. And the moment you were pushing, I wanted to push. It's not not react. Well, it's some part. It's not not reacting. The old paradigm of tango was you have to follow everything. Yeah, that was my question. Exactly. There you go. Which, in I essence... Wait for the guy to give me the, this so I can do this. Whatever. Yeah, and even, even if he's tensed up, you tensed up also with him. Mm -hmm. Right? <clears throat> anyway, even within that context, you don't follow everything. Let, let me give you an example. You are, we are on stage. I'm with my best partner. Or, yeah, I'm with you. We're dancing on stage. I fall to the floor. Do you throw yourself to the floor with me? <laughs> No. That's right. So at one point you say, yeah, man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right? Yeah, I follow you, yeah, but right now, that's it, man. You are on your own. So, <laughs> if, so if you start to, this is what I did, if you start to refine that concept, right here, you were following my, dire my directions but not my emotional state, not my muscle tension. But rather, you were leading onto me, basically, hey man, relax, you know? Why the fuck are you so tense up? See? So that, that's what we mean being active. You preserve your own fun. You just follow directions. You follow what the guy would want. Not what the guy's leading. <laughs> you get it? So you get someone leading you like this. Fucking go. You already know. You already know what he wants. You know what I mean? Why you pretend? You already have to pretend that you don't know. You do know now. Relax. Go. And the guy will say, wow, you know, this is working. <laughs> they feel proud. And then they relax. <laughs> and they, they relax. And coming back to the, the, the female role, that's a very big subject for the female role. We are the 10 star people in this planet, the guys, you know? So your feminine role is part two, hey, this is a fucking game, moron, a punk. Relax, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, there you go. Yeah. So, you relax yourself, and that leads, and it's the same for us. You understand? When, when, you, when you want to dance with someone, uh, even if he doesn't know this information, even if he doesn't practice it well, 
When you go to dance, if you are relaxed, open, confident, looking at the floor, look, it doesn't matter. If you are cool, you are living already. You understand? You are living already. You are living with your attitude and with your muscle tension. If I don't know her, and I, I, I start, let's say I, I want to start a dance with her, and here we go. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fuck, she's going to tense up, you know what I mean? <laughs> right? You, you start the cycle loop. <laughs> you get it? <clears throat> so, that's what I was trying to refer to the beginning. Yeah, you might like the cycle look, but some of, some of us, we don't. You get it? So you have to learn to switch, you know, to, 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 to have some kind of communication with whomever you find uh, with. Um, so, uh, same thing. Ah, and last thing. Uh, yeah, we have five minutes. So I, I, now that we are talking about the subject, uh, muscle tension, right? She now is following me, following me. She's saying, I follow your direction. You are tensed up. Fuck you. I'm cool. I'm having fun, right? What they follow when they are not active, the rest of the world, the rest of the women, when they are not active, what they follow is not your posture. It's not your position. It's not what you think your lead is. What people follow is muscle tension or muscle relaxation. That's it. So, if you want to go there and I do this, this may no fucking way. You're not passing through. If I do this, maybe. Yeah, why not? That's why when you get beginners into these postures like this, <clears throat> Let me show you the, uh, an example in real life. No hands and you turn. And check what happens. All right, that's not bad. One more time. You, you are too used to, huh? You are too used to them. This is what it means. And relax. You don't have to do anything. Let your body react. Yeah. There you go. See that? Did, did everybody see that? She put the air brakes, right? <laughs> right? Because if she's going there and I do this, no fucking way. That's why beginners, they get into these postures, they tense up, they do this, and no one fucking goes. Because it's, yeah, yeah, you have to follow my chest, but with your body tension, you're saying no fucking way. Then they... They brainwash them until they walk anyway. <laughs> but <laughs> see, they, they miss they miss the human contact, the context, right? So <clears throat> when we are leaving these turns, regardless of this exercise we did, for example, where we are doing this, see, the gesture here means that this half of my body is transparent. See this? There's nothing here in my arms. Same thing if we're going to this side. See, it's an invitation to move, extremely relaxed and open. So if you keep this like this, see that my chest is even in the opposite way? But she keeps going. You get it? See this? So she's not following my chest, is she? It's just to bug you out. <laughs> Do you see this or not? If I want to lead him to go there, this is a gesture. It has nothing to do with my chest. See? <clears throat> so, gestures, by the way, we are all experts at them, and they're a zillion times more complex and more easy to manage than all these uh, postures things. So, for the last two minutes, <clears throat> Let's walk, let's turn, and when you gesture, very relaxed. We gesture back, open the door like this. This is relaxed, this is open. See, if you start to do this, see how she starts to suffer now? 
See? And it's the same relationship, the same posture. But this is not, see? Wow, there she goes. <laughs> you like it, huh? See? Thank you. So, we are experts at reading this or this. That's it. So, walk and turn and explore. Two minutes. Are you winning? All right, so, yeah, uh, we were going to do, you know, more elements and more stuff, but actually the, the class turned, turned out this way. I think it was much more important to talk about all these uh, really, really deeper subjects that involve the whole dance, uh, rather than just seeing ganchos, boleos, and, uh, and simple elements. But tomorrow we are going to really, really pick it up, even more with elements. Who's coming tomorrow? Everybody. Uh, everybody. So that's cool. So now that we are relaxed and cool, we can tense up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned. I oh, know. Uh, any questions, comments, complaints? Uh, no? All right. So we are done. Thank you very much, guys. Thank <laughs> you.